right, John Layfield here representing the WWE Hall of Famer, Oklahoma's favorite son, Mr. Briscoe and me. Please check out our website. Tons of content, tons of old stories, wrestlers, legends. We got as much content, I think, probably as uh, nearly anybody. Please like and subscribe. Got four bets for you today. Made a huge mistake yesterday. Had to put out the video before the lineups came out. Did not realize Acuna was not playing for the Braves. I would have never bet the Braves if Acuna's not playing. He's one of those players that you simply need in the lineup if you're going to bet that team. Which brings me to the first bet today, and that is Jazz Chisholm is not playing for the Miami Marlins today. So Cincinnati, I've won three straight bets on them. Uh, they've gone two and one in their series against Miami. One of them, they were uh, had a plus one and a half bet. Got that from Jonathan Coachman, who does a great job over at Sportsline, a wonderful show. Watch it almost every single day. But I'm going with Cincinnati again today. They are much better at home without Jazz Chisholm. Miami just does not play well. Tampa Bay, I'm sorry, Mr. Briscoe. Uh, Jordan Lyles has pitched twice against Tampa Bay for Baltimore gave up six runs and five runs, not good at all, but you've got two batting leaders for Tampa Bay. Rosarina and Diaz are out. Baltimore has some guys out too. Baltimore has a great bullpen, a little bit better than Tampa Bay, who also has a great bullpen. Baltimore seems to be doing something great at home, especially. They're back to 500. I'm backing Baltimore today. And talk about batting leaders. When your batting leader is missing, it's a big deal. But what happens when the batting leader is not only missing, but goes to the other team? Benintendi, huge trade. Probably means Joey Gallo is out at New York. Former Texas Ranger, had a great run with Texas Rangers. Not done so well with New York. Benintendi is now with the Yankees, which means that Kansas City is missing a huge bat. They are playing the Yankees tonight. So a couple of different ways you can play this. Play it on the run line minus one and a half, or split it up. Split it up, what I mean by that is bet, say, 70% on the money line. It's minus 225 right now, I saw it. And then you take uh, the other $30 or 30%, say $100 bet just for easy measuring, and put it on the run line. So you split it that way if the Yankees win, but don't cover the run line, your bet is covered. Couple different ways uh, to play it. The final bet is San Francisco Giants. They're playing the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs have won over half a dozen straight. The Giants have lost half a dozen straight. But the thing is, Wilson Contreras and Ian Happ could be traded before the 9.45 p.m. Eastern time first pitch for this game tonight. So I think San Francisco uh, wins this game. And you got your four picks. Good luck on your picks today. Good luck on everything today. Tony Chimmel asked me, what do I know about baseball? And I've explained to him I know as much about baseball as he knows about pizza, which means I'm a freaking genius. Have a great day.